So the body fat set point theory is this theory that there's a range of body fat your body likes to be at and it will defend that range. So if you get too far below or even above, it will make some changes to try to keep you from getting too far away from it. Now to my knowledge, I don't think there's any research on this matter, but I'm going to give you my opinion based on my experience working with several hundred clients at this point, being around this field. And I don't think there's any question the body doesn't like to get too far below whatever has been normal for it. It seems like the more weight you lose, the worse things get and the more your body signals to you to try to gain that weight back and it just makes sense from a survival instinct remember your body is basically designed for one thing and that is survival so it doesn't care if you look good naked or have a six-pack on the beach it just wants to make sure you still exist so as you get further away from your body fat set point there's all kinds of both mental and physical changes that happen inside your body and make no mistake those mental things that you're suffering with those are hormonal changes it's not because there's something wrong with you or that you're weak. It's your body doing its job and making you basically feel like crap so you'll give up and gain the weight back. Now stick with me here because the information I'm going to give you is going to sound kind of doom and gloom and make it sound like you're just destined to not be able to lose weight and keep it off. That's not true, but at the same time, I need to be real with you. I want to make sure you understand how the body works because that's going to be critical for you to understand how to finally lose the weight and keep it off. So what happens when you lose weight? Eventually, you get to a point where emotions run hot. You get moody and easily agitated. You get super fatigued. You feel hungry with high food focus all the time. Your sleep gets disrupted. Your strength and energy suffers. Your libido drops. Just all kinds of things get significantly worse and it's not pleasant. A lot of this is driven by the hormone leptin. Certainly not all of it, but it's a big player. Leptin has many responsibilities, not the least of which is it tells you when your body's full and also plays a role in your resting metabolic rate. So as you lose weight, your fat cells shrink. Your fat cells now secrete less leptin and this causes higher hunger levels. If you gain weight, your fat cells increase, leptin goes up, you feel less hungry. Your body especially hates fast weight loss. Again, let's think about its design. It's designed to survive. And what's your body gonna think if you're seeing drastic weight loss? It's gonna go hold up, what's going on here? There's no food around, we're gonna starve to death. I need to make some changes here by slowing down our metabolic rate so the body gets more efficient at holding on to the calories you give it. Not to mention all these other changes I just mentioned, they all get worse with fast weight loss. You see where I'm going here, right? On top of all that, your metabolic rate is gonna drop. Even when you're doing it at a reasonable level, you're still gonna see some of these changes. Say for instance, you started your diet and you were eating 2000 calories and losing weight. Eventually, as you lose weight, you're gonna see some metabolic slowdowns and that 2,000 calories is going to be your new maintenance calories. This is why you hit plateaus. Now you need to make some adjustments. Let's say you drop another 200 calories. Now you're on 1,800 calories. You're back in a deficit. You start losing weight again. Metabolic rate starts to slow down. Eventually, 1,800 calories becomes your new maintenance calories. Eventually, you just keep getting lower and lower and lower to the point where it's just unreasonable to continue doing it. Like, you're not going to eat 1,000 calories forever. But let's say you do get to those really low calories and you get frustrated. You feel like, it's just, I can't do this. It's just too hard. So you say, screw it, I'm gonna eat whatever I want, and you just binge like crazy. Well, what happens? Your maintenance calories is at like a thousand calories now, and you're eating two, three, four thousand calories a day, and you rapidly gain weight. And here's where things get even worse. Now, this study was done in rats. They had an overfeeding study where they took them, reduced their intake, and as their fat cells shrank and the leptin came down, they then went into an overfeeding period and let them eat however much they want, and they rapidly gained weight. And what ended up happening is crazy. They actually gained new fat cells, probably because those fat cells couldn't handle the amount of intake they were taking in, so I had to create new ones to store this additional fat, which remember, from a survival instinct, is future energy storage in case there's times of low calories. And if you're gaining new fat cells, those fat cells are there forever. You cannot get rid of it. You can make them bigger or smaller, but they're gonna be there, and it's all the more reason why it gets harder to lose more weight down the road. So if you've been yo-yo dieting, don't feel bad or beat yourself up, it's done, but you gotta make sure you're not doing this anymore because it's destroying you. All that being said, I absolutely believe you can change your body fat set point. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to talk about what you need to do to get your body used to a lower body fat. But just using myself, for example, for quite a few years, I kind of fluctuated between around 180 to 190 pounds. I just found I kind of leveled in that kind of mid 180 range. And that's when my body was most happy. I had a good amount of food. I felt satiated. My energy levels were good. Everything was good. If I dieted down and got too far below that, and I 
I started getting into like the mid to high 170s, this is when I really start feeling run down and got to the point where my body was fighting me more. Nowadays, I actually fluctuate more between about 170 to 180 and generally feel the best in those mid 170s. But once I start getting into the 160s, like I'm just finishing up a cut now, I've gotten down to around like 167, 168. Man, I can't even begin to explain how freaking hungry I am right now. My food focus is high. I'm always thinking about when is my next meal? It's like the thing I look forward to the most. And that's not normal, at least, especially not for me, but it's just my body saying, I don't like this. We're getting too lean. We need to get closer to your body fat set point. But you have to understand, a lot of people think about body fat set point as a body weight. It's not about weight. It's about body fat. Now, in my example, I've had the same rough amount of muscle for the last you know, number of years. I'm in a point in my life where I'm not trying to gain a bunch of muscle anymore. I'm happy with where things are at. So as my weight changes, it's gonna be mostly through increases and decreases in body fat. But that hasn't always been the case. And if you look at me now in the high 160s versus how I used to look in the 160s, pretty drastic difference. I have a lot more muscle, but those two people are obviously completely different. So especially if you're new to training, you're building a bunch of muscle, muscle has weight so it's more about total body fat not a number on the scale so with all that being said what can you do to take the steps necessary to create a new body fat and maintain at lower levels first it's you gotta be patient i can't stress this enough don't lose weight too quickly because the faster you lose the more your body's gonna fight you aim to lose no more than around one percent of your weight on average per week because even with the slower pace you're still gonna eventually get some of these symptoms no matter what it's always gonna be a challenge eventually but you're gonna make it much harder than it needs to be by losing weight too fast when you are done dieting for any reason, whether it's because you've already gotten where you want to be or you're just completely over the dieting, it's gotten too hard, you have to be careful here and take the time to reverse diet out. This is the missing step for so many people. This is where you gradually increase your calories to get your metabolic rate to speed back up and see some of these hormonal improvements while helping to minimize or even completely avoid more fat gain during that part of the process. Remember the example before, if you get down to 1,000 to 1,200 calories as your new maintenance and you just start eating 2000 calories right off the bat that's a big surplus for you you're going to gain weight quickly but if you start increasing 50 to 100 calories a week your body can keep up with this better and you'll see increases in your hormones and metabolism along the way and it gets you into a position where you can get plenty more food and not undo all your hard work if you want to create a new body fat set point the key is to spend as much time as possible at that same level of body fat and get your body to realize that this is the new normal and it needs to make some adaptations to get used to that rather than giving it what it wants and just gaining weight back and then it goes thank you i'm happy now and then you've got to fight over and over and over again it just gets harder and harder each time but in those initial stages it's so hard to do because you're so hungry you're so run down you don't have the goal of fat loss anymore why am i so hungry when i'm not even losing body fat it doesn't make any sense so you just give in and do it and then this is why you can't get anywhere you have to fight that so many people feel like something's wrong and they can't believe it i'm eating this much more food and I'm still super hungry, what's wrong? It's normal. Teach your body that the body fat that you're at now is the new normal. I can't say how long that's gonna take. It of course depends on a lot. It would be logical, the longer that you were in a deficit, the more weight you lose, the longer it's gonna take for your body to get used to that. But it's also important to remember, don't forget where you came from. For instance, if you lost 80 pounds, let's just say you gained 20 pounds back and you still have a body fat set point that is 60 pounds below where you used to be. That's a hell of a lot better than before. It's it's a hell of a lot better than saying screw it and gaining all the weight back. Don't get caught up in making your lowest weight ever the standard. It's not gonna happen that way, I promise you. I hate to tell you this, but your lowest weight will not be sustainable most of the time. Now, with all that being said, to lose the weight and keep it off, it's not just about body fat set points, it's about lifestyle changes. There's a lot of factors you need to take in play, especially considering the mindset around things. So to find out more about how to lose the weight and keep it off, make sure you check out this top video next. Otherwise, I think you'll like this bottom video instead, and I'll see you in one of those other videos.